several other videos in the series, you'll have seen me using the LFO as an oscillator and you can get some really nice subby frequencies from it. But how do you get a sub if you've already used the LFO to get PWM? It's difficult to use the VCF when it's on low pass mode because if you've got the cutoff down at sub frequencies, you can't hear this PWM, can you? For example. So if you're trying to use the resonance, you've lost the PWM, you've lost the main tone. So this is just a really simple little trick to do that. And the way I do it is I use high pass mode. Because when you're using PWM, you tend to want to hear those higher frequencies anyway. And now we can tune the filter to get a sub. So to do that, we'll need to track the cutoff with the keyboard. So take the keyboard, put it into VC mix in number two, and take the VC mix out and put it into the cutoff. And if you've seen these videos before, if this is on just around three o'clock, it'll track the keyboard. To hear the filter on its own, let's put a dummy into the external audio and turn the external audio all the way up. Mix out the oscillator. And we can hear we've got a sub there. So let's bring in the oscillator. Let's put it onto a sawtooth so it's easier to tune. And now this is acting as a mix between the sub oscillator and the main oscillator. Let's stick it back on pulse width, being modulated by the LFO. So PWM with a sub. Of course, if you want to use the filter, you have to get yourself another Crave, <laughs> which is why people end up with stacks of these things, isn't it? But hopefully that was of some use to somebody somewhere. See you next time.